new tonight. They did it. Landed on Mars. And this is the first picture of the inside probe sent back to Earth. The spots are Mars dust on the mm -hmm. clear lens cover. After traveling millions of miles, the lander touched down to the cheers in the command center. Our Liam Martin is here with the exciting details. Big moment. Yes, indeed, Paul and David, the scientists in the Jet Propulsion Lab, were not the only ones cheering today. Some future rocket scientists at MIT joined in the engineering triumph. Touchdown confirmed. Woo! They couldn't have been more ecstatic in the MIT rocket team lab as they watched the NASA feed. These students design, build, and fly rockets, but today, they were nervous. Mars is the graveyard of space probes. Uh, you know, only about half of them going their work. To see it actually landing now is kind of scary, but it'll be really great if it works. Ground stations are observing signals consistent with parachute deploy. It was a nail biter as the students tracked the lander's progress. All right, nice. Radar. This is how it happened. Lift off of the Atlas V. Nearly seven months after liftoff, NASA's InSight lander entered Mars' atmosphere at about 12,000 miles per hour for what's been described as seven minutes of terror. A white knuckle ride for scientists watching from Earth. A special parachute deployed to slow the lander's descent, and then InSight dropped from its heat shield, and 12 reverse thrusters applied the brakes. Touchdown confirmed. <laughs> Success. It's kind of infectious coming through that screen, right? And you, you feel how excited they are. Yeah, it's very cool. So much excitement. I'm really glad we have a new rover on Mars. Just thinking that this is one step closer to humanity being able to live on Mars, it's real exciting. Well, as for the next steps, solar panels are going to be deployed to provide power. And eventually, a robotic arm will place instruments on and under the surface of Mars and transmit critical new data back to Earth. David and Paula. Wow.